struggle. What? I don't know what I'm doing. I know. That's what's funny. <laughs> How to internet. I don't know. It's just turn off. <laughs> How to internet by Y plate. <laughs> so we're about two hours outside the Freedom Factory where for some reason my video has like 5,000 views already from this morning. Wish I could be as famous as you, bro. Some dude commented, man, I had to turn off all the drifting. That was garbage. <laughs> it's like, sorry, dude, my car broke. I feel so horrible. Um, but yeah, so now we are about two hours north. Uh, my ears are ringing like crazy and we are stopping at Waffle House. Gonna get some coffee and some grits. And then we're gonna head back on the road towards the old Pensacola. Got my anti-theft steering wheel. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the update for this morning. Not much to report other than the rest of a nine hour drive. So whilst at this Waffle House in the middle of Florida, we made a shocking discovery on day 5,492. <laughs> They speak the same language <laughs> and have not communicated with each other this entire trip. But then he helped him out with a word named syrup. And now they could have been talking this whole time or helping because he's new to English. He's not new to English. He thought he spoke Portuguese when he's from Peru and they speak Spanish. So now they've talked to each other in their own home language for the first time ever. On day 5,463. On day 5,463. See, now they're best friends. <laughs> Too late, Oscar. Too late. Stopped for fuel in somewhere, Florida. Came across this busy bee here. Got lucky. Um, one of the cleanest bathrooms outside of a Bucky's I've ever been in. Super sick. And they have vegan beef jerky available. It's good too. Fielding approved. Yeah, I like it. And that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. I have better jerky. No you don't. Truffles. That's not jerky at all. Close good talk though. Good stop. Solid stop. the old gas station to see some familiar faces hey that's Mike's car Mike's over there of course those dickheads and somebody we haven't seen hi hey bud nice meeting you at this gas station nice. what are you working on are you heating up your I'm heating up my, my quesadilla. yeah buddy Oven life. Oven life. So they're over there filling up with some diesel. We just poured half a gallon of gas in the back of my fuel tank. So there's that part. Got a bunch of bros. Fielding looking Italian as fuck. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Who wears a puffy jacket? It's cold, man. You ain't Italian. Puffy jacket with shorts. What's up, Harrison? How you doing? Good. I just slept for like the whole drive. Yeah. The hair is showing, uh, you got one side <laughs> yeah, flat right. and the other side is full <laughs> poof. <laughs> it's so good. That's so good. So now I'm going to pee. Just finished our little uh, gas station car meet. We're back in the whip. We're full of fuel. <laughs> Scotty's got his blanket because it's, for some reason, cold in Florida. <laughs> Virgin Mary. <laughs> On his crotch. If you get a boner, her nose is gonna pop up. <laughs> Current situation. We are at Clutch Kickers. We have arrived at the Clutch Kickers shop and have immediately started borrowing tools and stuff to bead roll. Did you see that real fast? Bead roll the old boost pipe so we don't have that fall off anymore because that cost us the big W 
at the Hoonigan thing. At Cletus's track. At Cletus's track. We could have came Cleter. home with the gold at old Cleter's track, but we did not come home with the gold <laughs> at Cleter's track. And to the guy that commented about that, no, I wasn't making fun of Cleter's track. I was just commenting that there was a giant pothole in the middle of the turn we were gonna drift. That's okay. Anyway, yeah, we're out here at Clutch Kickers fixing the damn goose pipe. Gigantic thank you to Ernest from Full Lock Automotive for actually bringing the bead roller from his shop to Clutch Kickers to meet us here because we couldn't get to his shop in time. They brought it here, we bead rolled, and now Scotty is currently installing it back into the Pitchmobile. Um, just gave it that name, it's probably not what we're gonna call it, but whatever. Um, so yeah, thanks to Clutch Kickers shop for letting us use their tools and parking lot space. Hey! What's up, dude? And uh, yeah, full lock. Uh, and thanks to Ben Hobson for getting us hooked up with them in the first place to get said bead roller. It'd be really nice not to blow boost pipes. And clutch kicking at Clutch Kickers. Hey. Hey. Thank you for bringing me the bead roller. It is much appreciated and thank you for letting me use your tools. I'm going to put them away now. You got it, bud. So yeah. So yeah, Rad Dude's already here in a completely different city and a completely different state. So Scotty has successfully reinstalled the boost pipe. Now we're gonna clean everything up and possibly go inside. Well, we don't know about successfully. It's gonna be successful. I mean, it is us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we just landed at the old Sea Breeze Inn. I believe that it would be the sea over there, over yonder, or at least part of the sea. Apparently, Brandon Wicknick is towing Seth Waldron's car. So Seth's kind of bluish BMW has broken down again and is being towed by Brandon Wicknick. Brandon Wicknick's car is kind of a hero. It's beat up. Who has been crashed in. Who has been crashed into now. By Chelsea Denofa. By Chelsea Denofa. He got in, Chelsea Denofa. In a Crown Vic. In a Crown Vic. Which is an absolute tank versus ant battle. And uh, yeah, so they're uh, towing in. They're supposed to come meet us here, but... Who knows when the hell they're gonna actually get here. But yeah, that's our current situation. Uh, last event is Clutch Kickers track tomorrow. I'll be there at nine. Driver's meeting at nine, which oh, means we man. have to leave at eight oh, fuck. in the morning. Hooray. Plus, I drew Trenton a gigantic dick in the residual cooler water for when he wakes up. It's eight o'clock in the morning on the last day of Drift Week 2, and we are out here in Fort Walton Beach. It's about 50 minute drive to Clutch Kickers Track. It's a nice, nice view when you wake up from this hotel. There's definitely worse views I've had. Um, Hopefully today is a good day. It's gonna be kind of bittersweet saying goodbye to everybody, yet at the same time, being able to relax and not have to be at another track in eight hours or six hours or nine hours or anything like that. Uh, but missing all of the new people that I've met, all of the places I've been, and letting all of that kind of sink in. It's been an insane week and a half so far. And uh, I'm pretty proud of how far we've come and that the car is actually still in one piece and working. So yeah, this is, uh, this may be the last episode, depending on, on how I feel. Maybe I'll do a, a breakdown of everything that happened with the car because there's some stuff that didn't make it into the videos um, but big thanks to Lone Star Drift for putting this on big thanks to all the tracks for having us out 
and we're gonna head out to clutch kickers and do some clutch kicking all right 9 a.m like i said there's no way they're doing a driver's meeting at nine uh most of the people are here wow hey what's up did you have a good night's sleep yeah actually what's up buddy i love the atmosphere out here man it's so quiet it's super nice yeah it's very green it's very green no idea where the track is to be honest it's it kind of crisscrosses the skid pad oh, and pit lanes super nice man this is kind of what i was thinking to do at my home track but we just haven't done it so he he wins the award for coming the furthest by far. Oh yeah, it's over 12,000 miles now. <laughs> <laughs> you ridiculous son of a bitch. So, when you roll up to the gas station near Clutch Kickers, you keep your helmets on, because that's what the cool kids do. Well, out here, putting these Cosmos to work. Mr. Goodwin got an epic photo of me all gripped up, lifting tire. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just pretty sure it's because I got no sway bars. But I'd just like to say that I'm uh, pretending to be like Von Gittin Jr. and having all that rear grip and lifting a tire. But thanks for being out here with us and taking such rad freaking photos. Well, sir. That's uh, a privilege. It's a, no, it's our privilege. Yeah. You get it straight here, bud. Appreciate Don't let anybody that. tell you different. Or they can come fight. <laughs> But thanks, buddy. We appreciate you. Go follow him on Instagram. Get stuff from him. Hire him to come to your events, etc., etc. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I'm scrubbing him in at Freedom Park. And this man's right here, Mr. Scott Fox, Mr. Scotty Don't, Mr. Fiona, and me. Uh, is the reason why I'm here in the first place, period, hands down, no questions asked. Could not have made this trip happen without him. Uh, from the prep of the car, to fixing all the issues that we've had on the road, to everything. Thank you so much, Scotty. From the absolute deepest depths, bottoms of my heart, you have made dreams come true and not just now but even before doing fd etc etc he's going to be real involved in the scotch and beers coming up so just keep an eye out for those man scotty thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i owe you so many burning hjs it's not even funny bud quick tour of the sponsor stickers we got grip royal of course this is my original wheel that i've had for almost a decade We've got Garrett Motion providing a GTX 3076R. We have Radium Engineering providing the fuel system, fuel rail, fuel pumps, fuel pressure regulator, etc. 10 Tenths Motorsports who lent me one of their mechanics and uh, one of my best friends, Scotty Don't, to come with us on this trip, as well as giving us space to work on the car night after night after night after night after night after night fabricating parts for us thank you Shay and 10 tents for making this trip happen we could not have done it without you guys so we have Cosmo tire purveyor of fine tires that I have way too many left of because I've been getting so many laps out of we've got performance fuel injection who provided the injectors for this bad unit uh, look spec aka collective.us on instagram who did the livery status seats which are yet to get here but i'm super excited to put those on when we get back kansai wheels for these glorious chrome rokus that everybody has loved so much and last but not least my official wheel lug sponsor for drift week 2 gktech.com so yes technically we do make toyota parts got my first couple of laps in I don't know if I already said this or not. I did actually, so I already did this. Been getting some tasty tandem trains in with people, uh, tandeming with a bunch of different people that I haven't got to tandem in on this trip. There's so many dudes on this trip, 28 people that I haven't gotten to tandem with everybody. So that's kind of been a weird issue to even have, is not being able to tandem with everybody on the trip because either they're off track or i'm off track or i'm on track and they're off track or i'm broken and i'm fixing stuff and they're broken and they're fixing stuff so 
I am trying to tandem with almost everybody today and just toss it in the video and have a good time. <laughs> judged in the competition layout that they have set forth for us this day. Sick. Just finished the challenges, lost both of them miserably. I did the worst driving that I think I've ever done ever. So obviously, competition den is no longer a thing. I am 100% a party driver. 
I got my ass whooped by him, and I got my ass whooped by Harrison, who's in the Corvette, all the way through right there. So, yeah, it was still fun. I, I still don't like competition, so I still won't be doing that. I do love to party, though. We ran some big tandem trains with Hurt in the lead, with Trenton, with the boys. It was goddamn glorious here at Sunset at Clutch Kickers. What a good ender to this whole trip. What a trip it's been. I will say one thing about Drift Week. If you were thinking about maybe doing the next one, if you have questions about it, drop them in the comments anyway. Seat time. You get to drive tandem basically every other day-ish. Some places for two days in a row with some of the best drivers on the planet with some of the coolest dudes on the planet and that is what makes Drift Week Drift Week. So I'm going to close this video out. There may be some other clips but we're headed to Pensacola to drop my media guy for you off in the morning and then I have to head to New Orleans to drop Scotty off and pick up my wife for a couple of days of relaxing and that's a wrap on Drift Week 2.0. I think I was second in the standings today, even though Aaron said I don't count. Uh, so that still feels good to even just know that for all the little challenges. Um, I'll take that. I will take a second place for that. Um, but probably got knocked out today. That's fine. I'll still claim that I got second. That's okay. Anyway. Again, huge thanks to Cosmo Tires for sending me to guy out. Some of that content's gonna be really, really cool. Um, my other sponsors, GK Tech, Kansai, Grip Royal, Garrett Motion, Performance Fuel Injection, 10 Tense Motorsports. Again, could not have done it without those guys. I like your hat, Rudy. Which one am I wearing today? <laughs> Dude, I got like three of them, I just rotate from hour to hour. Fuck yeah. NASCAR. Brandon, Yo. now the drip week's over, what do you think of Mucho Machos? Oh my gosh, I am super impressed. I said in my videos, and I'll say it in your video, two and a half drift events on one pair of tires. Granted it was a smooth track, but that is super impressive, and it's I was ridiculous. not going easy, and I was not going easy on tire, and I wasn't conserving, and I wasn't, yeah, cooling them down, I was just going. I was just driving as much as I wanted to, as much as my car could handle, two and a half drift events on one pair of tires. Super hey, impressive. Thanks, buddy. Super impressive. I'm glad you were on, on the Cosmos. As soon as Cosmos. I get sponsored, I'll tell you the truth, but right now I tell you they suck. <laughs> no, they're great tires. <laughs> you told me something completely different earlier. <laughs> Hashtag <No>. sponsored. <laughs> Cosmo. No, <they're> <laughs>